Make sure you guys check out my boy King Sounds, new hip hop and rap album, King Talk, available on all digital platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, the whole nine. The link will be in the description and I'll post it in the comment section. Check it out. All right, man, Brother Tom Business sent me a video from Willie D Live. He did an uh, interview with uh, Ari Spears. Um, Y'all know the comedian, man, that uh, he do the impressions and all that stuff. You know, he had the situation on the 5150 show. Uh, when Zo put them hands on him, <laughs> but I ain't here to talk about that. He gave us top five MCs. He said I think it was Big J, Nas, Jay the Kiss, and Eminem in that order. And he said that New York rappers just better than other rappers. And then, you no, know, is that true? You know what I'm saying? They better Mark Smith lyricist, and that's what he said. Shout out to Willie D, man. Super super OG, man. I'm gonna put that. Uh, I'm gonna put his uh link in the description video link source link under there so you can check out the interview for yourself and they talked about a lot of things the thing about the the show that got a lot of attention was that willie d checked him about using the n-word uh <laughs> so you know that's subjective you talk to an og on anybody on their platform they don't want you to say a particular word hey you got to respect them you know what i'm saying well easy e say nigga 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 please nigga gonna be <laughs> easy <laughs> <laughs> but it's subjective and i use the word i get it you know people said this this that and the third but you no know, it's just you're subjective you know what i'm saying you you can't say it if you ain't got my skin color you know then we fight and i don't care if it's the a or the er this ain't no carcino for life over here you feel me but uh <laughs> but uh but yeah man uh you know a lot of my favorite rappers are from new york bro and i i prefer west coast rap though but when you talk about just the body of work Hold on, you talk about the body of work. I'm a, uh, you know, my top five is predominantly East Coast. So you know, I'm, you know, even if you look at it, Pac is from New York. Um, Big, uh, Nas, J, and uh, you know, usually I got Rock Kim in there. It could be LL. So you know, what I'm saying, you know, that's just my opinion on rap. But I, I mean, Cube in my top ten as well. Um, you know, so. But I, but I just don't, I think it's like we talking about, you know, lyrically, you know, it's, it's subjective. People say, oh, dudes from the South ain't got no lyrics or dudes from the West ain't got no lyrics or, you know, Atlanta ain't got no lyrics, you know, but a lot of times it go over other people's heads. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, Andre 3000 was lyrical, but you know, in the beginning he was like Southern lyrical, like, you know, how they use dunks and, 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 and Vogue's and they, and they say certain things that, People that don't litter don't understand. So really, it's a product of your environment, bro. If you open-minded to rap and you're not just closed-minded to being East Coast dominant, West Coast dominant, new school, old school, uh, uh, original dominant. I mean, yeah, you know, hip-hop got a start for the most part in New York, but a lot of other places perfected and put their style on it, but you couldn't understand it because you didn't live that life. If you're from New York, of course, oh, man, all these great MCs, and they great, you know, if I'm, I can see, I see it all different ways, it's all different rap. You know what I'm saying? And I think, like I said before, my predominantly top five is, 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 is from the East Coast. You know, most of them just, you know, they all from New York. A lot of people, Michael Jordan from New York, people forget that. But overall, you know, I like Cube. I like Kendrick. He creeping up in there. I like Cole. You know what I'm saying? I like Crit. You know, keep it low. I love Snoop. You know, first Dog Father, uh, uh, Rhythm and Gangster, obviously Doggy Style. You know what I'm saying? My well, my favorite albums is different than my top five. You know what I'm saying? You talking about the Chronic? You know, it's one of the greatest albums you know that I ever heard. You know, well you got one that's in there, Illmatic. You know what I'm saying? That was a dope album. You know, so it's a lot of just great rap albums. You know, uh, and rappers throughout history, you got Chuck D, you got, you know, he, they from, he from New York, you got, you know, Big Daddy Kane, but then you go out to the South, a lot of people, you know, people don't understand what Pimp C and Bum B was talking about, but, you know, if you from that, that Texas, Port Arthur, Houston, just Texas area, you know, you know what they talking about, a lot of people, I was talking about Webby and Boosie, I like Webby and Boosie, man, one of my favorite rappers in the early 2000s, man, and, you know, the Savage Life was just, was just cold, one, two, three, and I like for it, you know, but a lot of people say on Twitter, oh, they ain't got no lyrics, they garbage. This is because you don't understand them. You don't understand them, bro. You because you couldn't live that life. You're not open minded. You ain't never lived in the South. You it don't make sense. Same thing with Cube Star, you know, because it was rap was rapping. A lot of people didn't understand the shit that Cube was talking about. So, you know, you got dudes, Spice One, 
it's too short e40 that went over a lot of people heads that didn't understand what he was talking about remember biggie called him trash i mean you got guys like you know big sean eminem uh that's from the midwest you got i mean philly got a lot of dope uh rappers beans cassidy freeway you know uh the young guns i mean you keep going on they underground scene is crazy as shit Florida, they got some good rappers. Ross, Love Trick Daddy in the late 90s, early 2000s. You know what I'm saying? You keep going on. Trina, you got to shout out to Brad. You know, you got to shout out a lot of Jermaine Dupree's one of the most underrated pins in all of hip hop, from writing confessions to shit for Criss Cross. So, you know, you got, you got, you know, you got your stuff. Oh, the, the Hot Boys, and they brought a different type of, of vibe and lyricism and production there. So, it's all about what you grew up for. You ask somebody from New Orleans, they top five, man, you definitely going to get something different from New York. You know what I'm saying? You ask somebody from Houston top five, you're going to get something get different from Dallas. You know, you ask somebody from California, Southern California, Northern California, they top five might be similar, but it might be oh so different. So with Ari Spears saying they just better worse, maybe, no, it's just that that's the, link, the lingo y'all use. You understand the slang. You can comprehend the slang a lot of people don't comprehend the slang you go to memphis scene memphis scene is you know one of the most underrated rap scenes out there because they had their hands on a lot of shit was stolen from memphis like crunk music and a lot of slang was stolen out of memphis memphis is kind of like you know it's kind of one of those those cities that got po a lot of people poke shit from there a ball mjg you know and still today they still got relevant artists in dolphin yo Gotti. they bring their own type of style they don't sound like nobody for the most part. So, you know, that's, that's, that's just my opinion, my opinion with it, you know, as far as that, but you know, when you in New York, they arrogant, bro. They on a high horse. They think they better than everybody. Even though they in a situation where, you know, they rap ain't been shit for a long time. The only dude I listen to out of New York on a consistent basis is ASAP Ferg. You know what I'm saying? As far as the new, the new rappers, you know what I'm saying? But you know, some people might argue that they prefer Benny O, Benny Siegel's over, over Jada Kiss. Some people might argue they prefer Eminem over all the five, the four he named to hit him. Some people like me don't think Eminem that great. He probably in my top 30, 20, 50, but it's all subjective. It's so many great rappers kind of saying like, oh, Jordan and LeBron, they go, no, you're just the best of your era. It's too many great athletes. It's too many great rappers. But a lot of times people say people not lyricists because they don't understand the slang. They don't understand what they put putting the, the, the words together. And this is a big boy conversation because today we talked about it yesterday towards the uh, end of the live stream for the most part, or I won't say towards the end, but the end of the hip hop top topic live stream because then we went into some other shit. You know, a lot of people don't comprehend bars. You know what I'm saying? They don't comprehend bars. Something that can be so simple can be so complex from people. You know, Lil Nas X, I used this example yesterday. When I heard the song, I knew what he was talking about riding. It was no, it was no shocker to me when he was talking about riding and riding. Then he came out the closet, like bro. He didn't have to come out to the closet to come out the closet for me. I comprehended what he said. You know what I'm saying? And once you start, and once you start comprehending, you know what these, uh, what 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 rap set rap is, and it's hard to comprehend until you open your mind into what people are saying. But now that you have more information, now you know. I think they went back and they redid the chronic and they gave it five mics you know what i'm saying people understood you know what they were saying out west and down south and i think now down south they they verbiage and, and just a dictionary let me say they dictionary is now it's international you know what i'm saying people understand what they saying out west they went through the same thing now people understand what they saying a six four and, and, and jacking and all that stuff now you know that we have the the west coast dictionary is is known and the Southern Dictionary is known. New York is just not dominating, you know, the rap dictionary no more. So I don't agree with that, man. I think it's wordsmiths all over rap, man. They just do it in their own way. And you can't feel it because, you know, sometimes the production is different from what, you know, people listen to in New York from Rizzo Prime, you know, to a lot of uh, P-Rock, a lot of different produ producers that, that come out of that area. I think a lot of the production kind of changes it the way they ride the beat, you know, um, sometimes a lot of them rappers like Andre and uh, big boy, they was rap too fast. And a lot of the, the lyrics just went over their head because of the lifestyle of rap. So it's subjective, bro. You know, you might get an old school dude that said, Karis one, cool G rap. 
you know what I'm saying, Big Daddy Kane, Rock Kim, you know what I'm saying, LL, you might get that list today, you probably, nigga, probably get you NBA young boy, young thug, you know, because, you know, that's what they prefer, you know, but a lot of people just listen to the song and don't comprehend, they might be listening to demonic lyrics, they might be listening to, um, 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 you know, uh, homosexual lyrics and don't even know it and letting into their soul. That's why it's very, that's why I love, and I said this yesterday, I love when they came out, when they had single CDs with just a single on it. You got the song version, the acapella version, the instrumental version. And uh, you was able kind of to take the beat off and listen to what the bars really was about, man. But I don't agree with that. Of course, you know, if I'm from Detroit, and I'm going to say, you know, we, I think we got the best, you know, Coney Islands in the world or, you know, I think we, you know, it's a dope spot or whoop, whoop, or we tough or we harder than them. You know, if you're from New York, they're going to feel like they got the best rappers. You go out to L.A., you're going to feel like they got the best rappers. You know what I'm saying? You go to Oakland, they're going to feel like they got the best rappers. St. Louis, Chicago, can't lead them out the argument. You know, somebody in Milwaukee, Cuckoo Powell, Kyle, and my part, they probably feel like he'd go. You know what I'm saying? So the Florida, Alabama, shout out to Mr. Biggs, rest in peace, man. So, you know, a lot of people try to have this debate and they never been around the corner, man. So I live in different areas and been to different coasts. And, um, man, I respect all rappers, man. You know what I'm saying? It's some West Coast guys in my top 10. It's some Southern guys in my top 10. Scarface, Ice Cube, you know what I'm saying? Keep going on and on. But, you know, when you go to the originality of hip hop or rap, you know, New York, you know what I'm saying? A lot of they, the best rappers, they was able to get the jump on everybody else. And then everybody else kind of, flooded in you can't you can't stop you can't forget that the west coast really engineered like like they really pushed the gangster rap shit you know colors colors you know he got it uh ice t got it from schoolie d from philly but they really push they really was able to get the gangster rap scene gangster rap commercialized and get it off and that was thanks to you know uh schoolie d getting the ball rolling think his name from uh from philly and then Ice Cube, t Ice T taking it to the next level. Then Ice Cube with NWA taking it to the next level. Then Dr. Dre with the Chronic. Then Snoop Dogg. And then they just was rolling, nigga. Throughout the 90s, the East Coast was good as hell. You know, uh, Q Tip and uh, uh, um, Tribe. And you had a lot of great acts coming out. You know, you know Biggie and, you know, you just Bob D. I mean, Lil Kim. You had a lot of great acts, man. You know what I'm saying? But the West Coast run, they had that death row and, 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 and some of the runs they had, man, just in, out there on, on the West, they they it was their time. In the 80s, it was East Coast time. In the 90s, they, and I'm not saying that they dominated the 90s like like the uh, East Coast dominated the 80s because really wasn't no comp. But the West the West dominated the 90s, man. They did. It wasn't as dominant as, because there was no competition in the 80s for the East, but they dominated that shit, man. Then when Pac and Biggie died and then the East Coast, you know, then Kiss and – well, X for real and Jai and Jay Z and then the West kind of, they kind of went away and Snoop was with Master P and them and then, you know, eventually you had some people doing their thing and then the game popped back up or Dr. Dre popped back up with 2001 Chronic, Snoop started doing some shit again with Dre and things started changing. But hey, let me know what you guys think. You agree with Eric Spears? Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You reach out to the e or reach out to me there on social media. No email if you got business question, query, sponsor, video request, whatever situation may be. I want to make a donation to the channel. Uh, cash at PayPal in the description. Let me know what you guys think about the video. I linked the uh, Willie D interview in the description um, under source link, so check that out. We gone.